Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done an update on how to clean up fingerprints for photopolymer plate making. So I thought since technology has changed such a lot, we'll do one on the iPad, which is uh, a much easier way than using Photoshop or something. So here I'm in Pixelmator, which is a uh, photo editing app. You can use any app you like, as long as it's got contrast and all the settings that I'm going to be using. You can use whatever you like. So this is the image I'm going to use. Click import. That's ready to go. So this little format brush is where we start. I'm going to crop this. Because this fingerprint is too dark, I think this one could possibly work, but it's probably a little bit light, but the middle one is just right. So we'll use that one. Apply. And now all we need is to uh, increase contrast. You might be able to see that I've got this on a piece of tape. It's uh, that non-reflective tape that you can use. And I've made the fingerprint with a graphite pencil, a very dark graphite pencil. And I've got a video in YouTube that shows you how to do that. But the one thing with this is that it is a fairly grey fingerprint. So we're going to adjust colors. And we'll start by making it black and white. So we'll start, the easiest thing is to increase the contrast all the way. Brightness probably won't be necessary. A little bit down. Oh no, that's up. Oh, that's surprising. Oh well, just judge each fingerprint as you go because um, each fingerprint, even on the same hand, and like you saw in the previous image, can change quite a bit. The other thing you can play with is the level. So start with the left hand handle and push it up to make the fingerprint darker. Then grab this middle one and go back to the left hand one. And that makes it more contrasty. So that's not bad, so we'll say apply to that. Now I want to make the fingerprint a little bit larger. And here comes the tricky bit. Um, this is my old phone. I have to even remember how to use this. We'll go to an app that's this one here, which is Adobe Capture. It's a free app and it does some amazing things. When you go either to Create, where you can choose all sorts of options, or just to Camera, I've got mine set for Shapes. And Shapes is, is what I use to make something pure black and white. And what you do with that is you tap in the center of the screen. And then while you've got it there, you can play with the setting. Make it darker or lighter. And this gives you a really good black and white fingerprint. Click yes and then save. You pro if you haven't used Capture before, you'll have to make a um, a shape library and then you save it there and then you can see it in that library go to the little three dots export as a PDF that gives you a very high quality image and then I save it to files and I will save it in procreate artwork will do Save. We'll go to the files and we'll go to Procreate, Artwork and this shape and we'll just share it by airdropping it. Airport, so we want this to go to the iPad and oh this comes up with Procreate so we'll send it straight to Procreate which it which is where it's got to go. If it doesn't do that, you'll have to uh, find it in the download section. So here it's opened up in uh, Procreate all by itself. 
Um, you don't have to use Procreate by the way, you can use any painting program you like. You only need black and white for this, an eraser and a painter. You don't even need any layers, so it's a very very simple one. I'm just using Procreate because that's what I always use. So in the eraser I'll start there, I'll start with the hard airbrush. I am using a um, iPad Pro and a Apple Pencil. So I've got control of the thickness of line by pressure. If you don't have that you have to set your size here. Opacity all the way up. But you might want your size down if you're close to something. Take just all the small bits out. The photopolymer plate won't pick them up. You can use in here as well. On the, on the Apple Pencil if you tap on the... I'll have that on the hair tear brush as well. If you tap on twice on the pencil, if you got that set like that, it will switch to the brush automatically. So I just want to get those little bits out. And now back to the eraser. This one here I think I'll just connect. Procreate, if you do a two finger tap it does an undo. And if you do a three finger tap it does a redo of the last action you did. So I'm going to paint this in again. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing this because um, Capture actually takes little bits out and I'm, I'm really just putting them back. Now it depends on how much time you want to spend on this. You don't really have to do that because once you make your photopolymer plate it will automatically, or the clay or one, one thing or another will probably discard all those fine details anyway. But I just wanted to show you what to do if you have to get it right. So I'll click that one up. Although that doesn't belong with that one, I think that belongs with this one. So that's pretty good. A few more. I'm gonna leave the rest. We are going to have a quick look what size this thing is. So go to this little range icon, then go to canvas, go to crop and resize. We'll crop that top bit out. And have a look in settings. This is a DPI of 264. I'm going to change that to 600. Next. Uh, the size is fine, so we'll leave it at that. So now we've got the same size image, except it's at 600. So when we enlarge or reduce, it will stay nice and crisp. Go to the image. You can see this image is on a background layer. The image itself is transparent. Which you can see if you change your background color. I might leave it like that so we can see what we're doing. We go to the layer, tap on the layer, then go to alpha lock. You can see these little squares there now. Which means that only the areas that have paint already will accept paint. So I'm going to set my color to white. And I'm going to set my brush to a soft airbrush, really big, opacity up, and just paint it in. So now I'm going to set my background color to black. And we basically have an inverted image. To make a photopolymer plate out of this, I'm going to double this up because I make mine uh, with my laser printer which is not black enough so we'll go to crop and resize this is at say 1800 so I might unlock that it is unlocked make that uh, 3600 see how that goes and we'll call that done so now first I'm going to move this layer a little bit where I want it just a little bit of space around it. Then if you swipe left you can duplicate the, the image. And now you've got two next to each other. 
They don't have to be in the same line because they're going to be cut apart anyway. I think I might make that canvas a little bit bigger. Um, crop and resize, settings, 3600, I might make that 4000. That's a bit better, it gives me a bit of room. So this one can go here. And then the other one can go there. And this is going to get cut in the middle, as you'll be able to follow through the fingerprint jewelry book. Um, you'll be able to uh, work out exactly where to go from this. So now all we have to do is go to share. And I'm going to, if you've got Photoshop, send it as a Photoshop image. Otherwise a JPEG is fine and you'll just get a black and white image. And from here you can uh, choose to send it to your computer, send it by messages or save it to files and then you can use it anywhere you like. And I'll leave it in downloads. I might rename it here. Um, I'll call it fingerprint demo so I know where it is. Done. Save. And it will tell you it's done. And that's all there is to it. Ready to make your fingerprint jewelry out of this. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. And I might see you next time for another video. I won't leave, leave it quite as long this time.